Welcome back, Money Team. This is Man Money Shot. Sniffing at the man cheese, as always. Man 24 comes out possibly tomorrow night if you stay up late enough. So this game is almost here, so I can't wait around any longer to put out my top teams to use in Man 24. This is going to be that list. I'm only going to have the elite, elite teams. These are the teams that give you obvious advantages just by using them. Now, if you think that I left any team out, let me know in the comments section. If you guys want to follow me through Madden 24 with some of the offenses and defenses I got planned to drop for you guys, make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. And other than that, let's get right into the video. Starting off at the very bottom of my list, the last team on this list is the Cincinnati Bengals. I should tell you how hard it is to make this list. This is one of the best teams in the game, and they're the first team that I'm going over. They probably have the second best quarterback, and they probably have the best wide receiving tandem between Jamar Chase, T. Higgins, and Tyler Boyd. It's probably the top three receiver set in the league. And they also have a pretty good uh, running back, too. I skipped over Joe Mixon. Uh, but this team makes a list based just off of those receivers and that quarterback. On the defensive side, this is where they're why they're kind of down low the list. They don't have a lot of like elite defensive players anymore now that Jesse Bates is gone. They do have a fast first round pick in Miles Murphy out of Clemson. The guy's an 88 speed in the game. That's really good. Put him on the other side of Trey Hendrickson and let them go to work. That's a pretty good defensive end tandem. Got a good run stuffer in DJ Reader. At linebacker, I mean, they have a couple of good guys with speed. Logan Wilson's the highest rated. You get to the cornerbacks and Shadobi Awuzie is the highest rated cornerback. Once again, like I said, there's a lot of high 80 guys, but nothing really like superstars or anything like that. And DJ Turner, the rookie, is a 97 speed. So that's a great guy to either grow in a franchise or just send off the corner in blitzes. Next up, we're staying in division, and we have the Baltimore Ravens, which is really just Lamar Jackson. Let's be honest. He, the Ravens will be on this list as long as Lamar Jackson, that quarterback, is 96 speed. Uh, you go to the receiving core. This is where they're a lot better than last year. Last year, the number one receiver was Devin DuVernay, which was not very good. Now they have Odell Beckham, an actual number one receiver. DuVernay is still the fastest guy here at 94 speed, but they also have uh, Zay Flowers, who's a 93 speed rookie. Going on to tight end, that's their best receiver is Mark Andrews, probably the you know one of the top three tight ends in the game. Uh, the offensive line is pretty good. Ronnie Staley, superstar, is going to get some pancake blocks. When you get to the linebackers, though, they have some really fast, good pass rushing outside linebackers like a Defi Owa, who's a, what 89 speed. You got a Jabo, former first round pick, 87 speed. You got really good inside linebackers and Roquan Smith, another superstar player. Uh, Patrick Queen, another really you know fast player. They also got Trent Simpson, who they drafted this year. I don't remember where. I think in the second or third round, who's a 91 speed who should definitely be playing somewhere, maybe on outside linebackers, send on some blitzes. You get to the cornerback spots, Marlon Humphrey is a superstar cornerback once again. Uh, after that, they don't have a ton, but they do have some pretty good safeties in Marcus Williams and Kyle Hamilton, a former first-round pick. Next up, we got the Chargers, and it's mostly because of Justin Herbert. I mean, when you have a superstar quarterback with gunslinger and all that stuff, it definitely makes it uh, easier on your entire offense. Uh, they have Austin Eckler, very good running back, very good speed, good catching ability out of the backfield. At receiver, they got a couple good receivers, too. If you like the high throw uh, aggressive catch even though it's nerfed a little bit this year uh, you should still be able to do that with guys like Keenan Allen Mike Williams and Quentin Johnson their first round pick tight ends okay Gerald Everett's just you know 85 speed I mean that's not bad a2 overall Parnum Jr. is also six foot eight, listed as six foot eight, so that's you know something you could work with as well. You got some decent linemen in Rashawn Slater and your center Corey Lindsley, both of them in the high 80s. On the defensive side, once again, not a ton of great defensive linemen, but they're three four once again, so their best guys are on the outside. Joey Bosa, obviously one of the best outside linebackers, highest rated. Eric Kendricks is the new pickup at an 85 speed, is a good addition as well. Khalil Mack still holding it down on the other side. The cornerbacks, though, the highest rated guy is JC Jackson, who still has superstar abilities. I'm not sure if he'll have it in Madden. 24 because I'm in Madden 23 right now. That seems kind of weird for an A3 guy to have that. But between him and Asante Samuel Jr., who's a 91 and a 92 speed, you definitely have good speed out there at cornerback. Then you get the safety. They really only have one, but it's the best safety in the game in Derwin James. Next up, we got the Kansas City Chiefs. To me, they're not like the best roster. I think Mahomes is just that good in real life that he does so much more with so little. Uh, but he is the best player in the game, 99 overall. I saw that he has a hot route master, which I'm not sure if that's 100% true, but I saw it in a video somebody put out. Uh, the running back situation isn't great. Pacheco's nice, though. He's 93 speed. That's probably your best guy. The receiving core is really why they uh, aren't higher on the list with guys like Kadarius Tony and Scantling being their starting two receivers. They both have good speed, though, 93 and 95, so you can definitely make something happen with that. Then you move on to tight end. they got the best tight end in the game. Guy catches everything. Travis Kelsey, no need to say more. Offensive line is still 
pretty good with Thune, uh Trey Smith, and uh, Creep Humphrey on the inside, but the outside's not looking too great. The edge is a little bit soft. Really, a really good player, Chris Jones, superstar player, obviously the best guy. He just wreaks havoc in the middle. Some of the linebackers are fast but lowly rated, but you do have guys like Nick Bolton. In the secondary, Ladarius Sneeds, a one of the better fast corners at 94 speed, but he doesn't have superstar ability or anything like that. Next team on the list, we got another team that has, you know, the cover athlete, one of your best quarterbacks in the game, and Josh Allen. So it's going to make the entire offense easier. Uh, then you get to the receivers. They really only have two. Stephon Diggs is one of the best in the game, though, superstar. And then Gabe Davis, who's a very good receiver at six foot two, plays big. Get to the tight ends, though. They got two really good tight ends as far as speed. You got Dawson Knox in their first round pick, Dalton Kincaid, Vaughn Miller, superstar, still one of the most disruptive players in the game. But Matt Milano is one of the higher rated linebackers in the game. Then you get to the secondary. They got a superstar cornerback in Tredavious White. Uh, Tyron Johnson's a good second corner. They got some good speed. Uh, former first round pick, and Kyrie Alexander with a 93 speed. So you got your top three cornerbacks there, and your safeties are set with Mika Hyde, superstar, and Jordan Poyer, superstar. Both of them coming in at a 90. Next up, we got was probably the fastest team in. In Madden history, so that alone makes them a cheat code. The only reason they're not number one is because they just need, a, if you ask me, a slightly better quarterback. Raheem Mostert, 95. Devin A. Chain, 95, a running back. I mean, that's crazy. The two fastest running backs on the same team. They also got the two fastest receivers in uh, Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle at 99. I think Jalen Waddle's at 97. I don't know why it says 98 here, but they also have Robbie Anderson, who's at 96 speed. So you got three receivers that are extremely fast. Their tight end position, though, is so wide open, it's probably not even worth running a tight end, but they do have a guy named Tanner Conn Connor, who's 89 speed to just add to that whole speed factor. So I'd probably start him. Teron Armstead, superstar left tackle. You got the highest rated quarterback in the game in Jalen Ramsey. And then Xavier Howard is one of the best cornerbacks in the game on the other side. They also have some pretty good cheap speed across the board here. A guy named Keon Cross, and you can put him on cornerback blitzes at a 94 speed. Coming in at number two, we got the Philadelphia Eagles, my team. That's right, I might be a bit of a homer, but they do have one of the best rosters in the game. Jalen Hurts is very similar to Tua Tonga Bailoa as far as they both have a weak throw power, which is what kind of hurts the, the rating a little bit, only 86. But he actually has superstar abilities, and he's much higher rated. So to me, that makes all the difference. At receiver, they have A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith, and who are two of the best receivers in the game. And then you also have Quez Watkins, who's at 97 speed, one of the fastest receivers in the game. And you go to tight end, Dallas Goddard, one of the best two-way tight ends in the game, blocking and receiving. You go to the line, this is where they really make up on a lot of other teams. With Jordan Mailata, 86 overall, Land Dickerson, 82. Jason Kelsey, 92, at a superstar. And Lane Johnson, 98, with a superstar. Superstars are going to be getting lots of pancake blocks this year in Madden 24. So those guys are weapons now. On the defensive side, they have a pretty good edge tandem in Brandon Graham and Josh Sweat. You go to the linebackers, they got a ton of speed. A linebacker, Hassan Reddick, who is uh, you know 90 overall, wreaks havoc. Nolan Smith, 93 speed. You get to the secondary, they have Darius Slay, one of the better cornerbacks in the game. Superstars, superstar abilities. James Bradbury, one of the best... Uh, one of the better cornerbacks in the game for a quarterback number two. They got guys like Avante Maddox. Keely Ringo is 94 speed. He's going to be perfect for sending off on blitzes. And last but not least, we have the Dallas Cowboys. And as an Eagles fan, it pains me to say it, but they do have one of the best Madden rosters in the game. Their quarterback position might be slightly better than the last two teams that I had because at least Dak Prescott has a 90-plus throw power, which the last two quarterbacks didn't have. He also has some superstar abilities, which helps him out. You get to uh, the running back position. Tony Pollard, 93 speed, uh, 88 overall player. One of the best running backs in the game, in my opinion, because of the speed. Then you get the receiver. They added another 93 speed player in Brandon Cooks to go with uh, CeeDee Lamb, who's a superstar, and Michael Gallup, who's a plus 80 player. They also have a really good cheap speed guy, Kevante Turpin, who, in my opinion, would probably be my third receiver over Gallup because it was 95 speed. Tyron Smith, superstar. I mean, he's going to be getting pancakes. Then you get the Zach Martin, highest rated lineman in the game. Going to be getting a ton of pancakes with that superstar ability. They might have the best defensive end tandem in the game, especially when it comes to edge rushing, with the Marcus Lawrence at a 90 on one side and Michael Parsons at a 92 speed, 97 overall with superstar abilities on the other side. He's going to be a nightmare. So then you get to the secondary, and this is once again how they really solidified this. They don't have one superstar cornerback. They have two superstar cornerbacks, Stephon Gilmore and Trayvon Diggs. Uh, Trayvon Diggs being a 93 speed too, which is really nice. So not a lot of guys are going to be able to run past them. They also have a really good cheap speed cornerback to send off the edge on blitzes and Calvin Joseph at a 94 speed as well. And they have three safeties that are all pretty much the same at an 81 overall rating. So that's it. That's the vid. If you guys you know, agree, disagree, want to let me know in the comments section what you guys think let me know in the comment section i also made a video of the worst teams to use i'll have that popping up on screen right now these will be the teams to avoid the most other than that thanks for watching man Money shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bits and more link in the description below